So this weekend is WrestleMania 40, April 6th and 7th, Saturday and Sunday. Of course, it's two nights because they want it to be like Wrestle Kingdom. But we have, I think, a total of 13 matches. There's six matches on night two, seven matches on night one. So there's a total of 13 matches that would take place over the course of two nights. I'm going to go ahead and just do both nights in one because, you know, I don't want it to be two separate or whatever. I am very excited for WrestleMania 40. This is definitely one of the most anticipated wrestling shows in a long time. Now, we are seeing a big rematch between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, the main event for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. I didn't hate Roman winning last year at WrestleMania 39. I didn't hate it. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So, we're going to go through the match card, and I'm going to be giving my predictions as to who I think is going to win, and maybe even some hot predictions. I don't know. I don't think anything too crazy is going to happen, but uh, we'll see. So the first match I want to talk about is the Women's World Championship match between the champion Rhea Ripley and the challenger Becky Lynch. Rhea Ripley is very, very popular right now. She is a great champion. She's been champion for just over one year now because she defeated... Uh, I, I, I think it was uh, Bianca Belair. No, it was Charlotte. She defeated Charlotte last year to become champion. And Becky is challenging because she won the Elimination Chamber. Rhea Ripley is going to win. Rhea Ripley is absolutely going to win. There'd be no reason for Rhea Ripley to lose. I think what they're going to do is that they're going to have Rhea Ripley and Jade Cargo feud. Maybe they might uh, main event, maybe not main event, but maybe they'll have a championship match at WrestleMania next year. But yeah, Rhea Ripley is going to win. She's not going to be losing anytime soon. Next up, we have a six-pack tag team ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. There are two teams, or excuse me, six teams of two. A total of 12 wrestlers will be competing. There's the Judgment Day, DIY, The Awesome Truth, The New Day, A-Town Down Under, and New Catch Republic. Now, both championship belts, well, technically it's four, but the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships will be suspended above the ring. There's going to be four belts, and they're going to possibly split the titles we don't know maybe one team might take it all but honestly right now the champions of judgment day i think the awesome truth are going to win if they are going to split the belts i think it's going to be awesome truth and maybe a town down under if they do split the belts i think awesome truth will be the raw champions and a town down under will be the smackdown champions but if they don't split the titles i think the awesome truth might get it Next up, we have a tag team match between Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Santos Escobar and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. I think Dominic and Santos Escobar are going to win this match. That's really, really what I think. This match just kind of came from nowhere, but it's nice that Rey Mysterio and Dominic, Andrade, and um, Santos Escobar are working in this match. It's quite nice. Maybe Carlito will be involved somehow. Next up, we have a singles match. It's Jimmy and Jay Uso facing off against one another. Of course, Jay split from the bloodline, and he's now main event Jay and all that stuff. I think Jay is going to win. There might be some solo Sokoa interference going on, but I think Jay Uso is going to win. Next up, we have the six-woman tag team match between Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi taking on Damage Control. Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kyrie will be representing Damage Control. And as much as I would love Damage Control to win, I would love the heels to go over. I just don't see... WWE making Bianca, Jade, and Naomi lose. This is Jade's second match in WWE, and I just don't see her losing. I just don't think she's going to lose, especially not Naomi and Bianca. So Asuka's unfortunate WrestleMania losing streak is just going to have to continue, but I would love for Damage Control to win. But Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi are most likely going to win. Next up, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line between Sami Zayn and the champion Gunter. I think Sami Zayn is going to put up a very, very good fight. I really do. I think Sami is really going to put up a halluva fight. I'll never say that ever again. Um, but all joking aside, Gunter's going to win. Gunter is going to win. Next up, we have the tag team match. The main event of night one. The Bloodline, The Rock and Roman Reigns, taking on Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. This match has a stipulation. If Rhodes and Rollins win, all the members of Bloodline will be barred from ringside during the night two main event between Cody and Roman. But if the Bloodline win, if The Rock and Roman win, they will have what is called a Bloodline match, or rather a Bloodline rules match. 
I don't think that they're going to continue mentioning the Bloodline rules match if they're not going to do it. So I think Barack and Roman are going to win the tag team match. They're going to go over on Seth and Cody because they're not going to sit there and talk about a Bloodline rules match if they're not actually going to do it. Of course, there's going to be a lot of shenanigans with the Bloodline and a Bloodline rules match, but Cody and Seth are not going to win. So, this brings us to night two. We have Seth Freakin' Rollins, the champion, taking on Drew McIntyre in a singles match for the World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk will be a guest commentator during this match. And I think that CM Punk will cost Drew McIntyre the match. Maybe Seth Rollins wins. Maybe Damian Priest cashes in on Seth and wins. I think either Drew is going to leave as champion or Damian Priest is going to leave as champion. There's a part of me that says that Drew McIntyre might just win outright. But I'm thinking Seth Rollins wins because CM Punk costs Drew the match, whether it's by distraction, interference, whatever it might be. Seth wins, and then Damian Priest cashes in and wins the World Heavyweight title, which increases Drew's disdain towards CM Punk. Maybe a couple of months later, Damian will lose to Drew or something like that. But obviously, Drew Punk is going to be the hot rivalry later this year, maybe even into next year. Then we have the singles match between AJ Styles and LA Knight. This match has had a great, great build-up. But I think LA Knight's going to be the one to win. Especially because if LA Knight can get a big win over somebody as popular and as great as AJ Styles, that would really, really cement his spot in the men's division. So I think LA Knight's going to win that match. But who knows? It could go either way. That match has had a fantastic build-up, though. There's a six-man tag team Philadelphia Street Fight match between the Pride... Bobby Lashley, Angela Dawkins, and Montez Ford going up against the Final Testament, Akam, Rezar, and Karrion Cross. Or is it Rezar? I forgot. I've forgotten now. But I think the Pride are going to win. Bobby Lashley, Angelo Dawkins, and Montez Ford. I think they're going to be the one to win. I'm glad this is a Philadelphia Street Fight match because it will allow them a little bit more freedom in terms of what they can do. Because there's already a couple of other tag matches on this card. There's two six-man tag matches. The other ones in the women's division on night one. But I think the Philadelphia Street Fight will give them a lot more freedom to do a lot of really cool stuff. So I think that match will be great. Then we have a triple threat match for the WWE United States Championship between Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and the United States Champion, Logan Paul. I think Kevin Owens might leave, but Logan Paul is going to retain his championship. I would love for Kevin Owens to win, but I think Logan Paul is going to win. I think... For WWE, it's in their best interest right now to have Logan remain as champion. And plus, he's a great wrestler, too. So, Logan Paul wins. Next up, we have a singles match for the WWE Women's Championship. We have the Royal Rumble winner, Bayley, going up against Io Sky, the current women's champion, for the Women's Championship. This is Bayley's time to shine. As much as I really love Io Sky as champion... Right now, it is Bailey's opportunity. It is her time to shine. I think Bailey will leave Philadelphia as women's champion. Damage Control is just going to have to lose this weekend. Sorry. But um, I think it should have been the main event for night one, but whatever. Then finally, we have the undisputed WWE Universal Championship on the line. It's either going to be a regular one-on-one -on -one match or it's going to be a Bloodline Rules match, most likely the latter. It's going to be Roman Reigns, the champion, for almost four years now, the 1,000 plus day reigning undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns taking on the challenger Cody Rhodes, who has won the Rumble two years in a row and is getting another opportunity against Roman Reigns. Now is the time for Cody to finish his story. I think Cody Rhodes is going to win. There's going to be a lot of shenanigans involving the bloodline, and who knows, maybe Dustin Rhodes will come back and help Cody. There's going to be some sort of a hero out there, maybe even multiple, that helps Cody win. But no matter what happens, Cody Rhodes will leave as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I believe now is the time for Cody to leave as champion. But wouldn't it be funny if Roman won, though? Wouldn't that be really funny? But either way, Cody Rhodes is going to win. Now, I had a bit of a bold prediction. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think it's going to happen. But. If I was booking, if Damien absolutely had to cash in, if he absolutely had to, I would have Damien cash in during the main event, sort of like replicating Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 31. And then I would have Seth Rollins, you know, like his big WrestleMania moment, I would replicate it. What I would do is Damien, Price, Damien cashes in during the match, makes it a triple threat, and then Cody Rhodes defeats Damien 
to become the champion, but he did not pin Roman, so he becomes champion without pinning Roman. That's what I would do, but I think it's a better option to do the Seth Drew route for Damian Priest if he has to cash in, or maybe he just doesn't. We'll have to see. So those are my predictions for WrestleMania 40, Nights 1 and Night 2. It's a very, very hotly contested show. This is not going to happen. This result's not, not actually going to happen. Cody's going to walk out as champion.